Hi guys, it's Dr. Raj. I'm going to be going through how to use your new derm system. So this will be the box that arrives. Some people have a normal to oily version and sometimes there's a normal to dry version. So it depends which one um, you've got, but that depends on your consultation. So there's two little bits of sticky plastic here. We're just going to remove those if they haven't already been removed for you. That one's done. And that's done. There we go. Fantastic. So once you've opened the box up, We'll see the product inside, they're all very shiny. Okay. So first thing to know is you will hopefully receive one of these as well. This is your tretinoin cream. So that will go easily inside that. This is an empty box. It's designed to hold that there. There you go. So that goes and fits inside there so you don't lose it. Okay. So you've got your products one, two, three, four, five, and um, you've got these two products. We'll talk about them afterwards. One of the key things to see and remember is that each of the products have got a little AM or PM symbol, so when you're going to use it, and it will give you some instructions that way. So, um, step one is your cleanser, then you've got your toner, you've got clear, exferderm forte, or exferderm depending on if you've got the normal to dry version, normal to oily version. This is the forte because it's in the oily one. Um, blender, and then you've got your hydrate and your SPF and your tretinoin. So these are the steps that are going to be um, followed. For number one, you can see the cleanser, we're going to use that in the morning and in the evening. The toner is also going to be used morning and evening. The clear is going to be used morning and evening. Exferderm Forte is just in the morning. The blender is just in the evening. And the tretinoin is also just in the evening, okay? So we're going to go through each of the morning routine and then the evening routine. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, morning routine. Um, if you get a shower in the morning or you get a shower in the evening, I really want you to do this at the end of your shower as well, whenever you, whenever you do it. Um, so for instance, if you have a shower in the morning, get into your shower, tepid water, wet your face or wherever the area is of concern. You're going to be doing your whole face if you're going to be doing it. Um, so wet your face and then do the rest of your shower as you normally would. And at the end of your shower, reach for your cleanser. You need a small pea-sized amount and Dr. Baji has been very, very helpful in case you didn't know what a pea was. They have actually got a little a demonstration pee to show you the size of the product you should be squirting out, okay? So all these products just need to be used for two fingers only. We're not putting them anywhere else. So you're going to put them on two fingers and you're going to rub them in. So ideally, we want to rub it into your face and around. I would do your eyelids as well uh, and you can do your neck as well if you want to. Um, so you can do that and rub it, rub it, and rub it in. So ideally, at the end of your shower, once your face has been wet for a few minutes, Take your little piece size amount, rub it in and start rubbing. I want to see a lava, you want to see a foam forming. And ideally you want to rub it in for one minute and then you want to leave that lava on your face and neck for another minute before you rinse it off. And that's super important because it's got active ingredients in there that are going to be working and it's just not enough time for it to work. If you just suddenly put it on and then wash it off, you need a little bit of time to keep it going. That's going to do wonders for your skin. Um, in terms of helping to get rid of some of the residual oil that's sat around on the skin. So rub it in for a minute, uh, see the lava, and then leave it for a minute before you rinse off. However, in some cases, if you've got too much oil on your face, or there's makeup, for instance, sometimes some people need to double cleanse. So obviously the other time, whenever you're not showering, you can just do this in the sink instead, okay? So does that make sense? Yeah. Number two, I've got a patient here as well, I'm just listening in, so apologies, I'm talking to two people. Um, number two is your toner. So once you've done that, once you've done your cleansing, you're going to um, dry your face with a clean towel, just pat it dry, and then you're going to go to number two. So number two is the toner. It's very, very liquid. It's, it's very liquid. So what I would normally say to patients is, there's two ways of doing it. You can, what they advise is to get some kind of cotton pads and put the, put the liquid onto the cotton pad, then dab it around your face. I still feel like a lot of that just goes in the bin and I feel like you waste a lot of products. So I advise normally if you go to like Superdrug or Amazon or something and you can get little tiny plastic spritzer bottles and you just pour some of that into that and you can just spray and rub it in. So you're only using what you need and you're not wasting anything. Just rub it in again with your fingers and it will dry pretty quickly. Then we do going to do that morning and evening. Then we're going to move on to your clear, which is also morning and evening. This is your first of the active ingredients. This is the hydroquinone um, containing cream. There's two hydroquinone creams. There's never a sexy way to get it out of the box, unfortunately. So uh, <laughs> this is the morning and evening version, okay? So this is going to be dealing with some of the superficial pigmentation in the skin. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, use a... Um, a specific amount which I'm going to draw on 
the bottle here. I'm going to use one of the other bottles so you can see what I mean. We're going to be doing something called O to the A. So you draw a line from the O here, that line where the O is, to the line where the A is. That's the length of product that we're going to be squeezing out. Okay, so that length of product. So you want to squeeze that on the back of your hand, kind of O to the A, that's how much you need. So you want to squeeze that out in a little line and that's how much product you're going to need for the full face. That's roughly for a full face. So um, you're going to use O to the A of this. So just squeeze it out. Use the other bottle to measure it out if you needed to. But you can see it's roughly the size of maybe about a 20 pence piece or so like that. So that's kind of how much you need. You don't need masses. Just do that. Do that. And you want to take that and then pat it over your full face. Even if your problem is in a certain area, it doesn't matter. Ideally, we want to use the product over the full face to avoid a halo effect around the individual um, problematic zones. We want to make sure that you don't get a little white ring around anything. So you need kind of full face coverage. When you're starting out, I would probably avoid using it around the eye area. So when you go off the margin of the bony orbit, and you can feel where the, where the skin changes and you've got very thin skin around the eyelid above and below. I wouldn't go into the eyelid skin. It will find its way there, so you don't need to worry about that. But when you're a bit more experienced and you're happy to do it, that is something that we can talk about. Similarly on the neck as well, I would avoid the neck straight away if you're starting out, just because it can be a bit tender around there. So uh, you're going to use that. Sometimes when you start rubbing it in, it's going to take, sometimes it goes in really quickly, and sometimes it doesn't, and it takes uh, longer than we expected to go in. And sometimes you can be rubbing it for like three, four, five minutes, and you're rubbing and you're rubbing and you're rubbing, it's not going anywhere. Don't be tempted to go get some tissue and wipe it off or something. Don't do that. It will go. You just need to keep on rubbing it and it will suddenly just absorb and then it'll all be gone within a few seconds. So just be mindful of that. Don't waste the product. So um, for our patient today, I've actually bought two of these and giving her two because this is the one product that's probably going to run out the soonest. So she's got another one just in case we're not going to run out of that, which is good. So you're going to do that in the morning and in the evening. You're going to rub it all over and then you're going to just let it just settle in for a second. In the morning, after you've done that, you're then going to use the second product, which is the X for Dem Forte, and you're going to use that also O to the A. This is slightly runnier, but still not as, uh, it's slightly uh, runnier than this one, but it's still quite thick. Um, that contains various different things, kind of AHA, which are alpha hydroxy acid. So it's like a mini chemical peel for your face that's going to happen on a daily basis. And again, you need O to the A of that, squeeze it onto the back of your, back of your hand and then um, pop it onto your face and then start rubbing it in. And again, I would avoid the eye socket area and the neck when you're first starting out. And as you get a bit more experienced, we can chat if you want to start incorporating those areas in. Um, but I would advise you get my advice from that before you jump into that, because it can be a bit too much around the eyes. Um, you're only going to use this in the morning, so don't use this in the evening. Just the morning alone is good. It's got some antioxidant protection, again, to help you from the sunlight and stuff, so it's really powerful. This basically will just speed up the actions of all the other things by getting rid of dead skin that doesn't need to be there. So getting rid of that dead skin means more absorption of all the really good products into the skin. So that's your number four. And then in the morning, we're not going to do number five, so I'm going to turn that one around. You don't need to do hydrate unless you need to. So hydrate is basically the crutch of the of the system. So if you're getting peeling, flaking, red sore, dry tight, and uh, you're struggling, then this is what you're going to use as a crutch. You can put it on as often as you want. If you are going to put it on in the morning, if you're particularly dry and tight in the morning, I would do it in this order. I would do it at this step. Um, but if you don't need it, don't use it. Don't get used to using it because it's good for you to feel a bit dry and tight. That's a good thing, okay? As much as your body's telling you no, you should try and stay away from this if you can try. The final step will be your sunscreen. Again, pea-sized amount. You're going to put it over your full face, including your eyelids and around there and on your neck as well if you need to. And um, that one, this lasts quite a while and it goes really far. You don't need, people don't need to tend to buy one of these again for a very long time. So use that uh, liberally. So in the morning, we're going to have your... Um, so we'll do the evening one now, okay? So evening time, you're going to cleanse your face again. In the evening, you're going to dry your face. You're going to tone it with your little spritzer bottle. You're going to use your clear again. So a similar thing, O to the A again of the clear. And then you're going to move to number four. So remember, number four is something you're not going to do in the evening. So I'm going to flip it over this time, okay? So that's a little, not in the evening time. Then number five is where the evening products start. So this is the blender, and as its name suggests, we have to blend it in. And again, this is also O to the A. Try and draw that out for you there. Okay, O to the A again. 
um, and you're going to you're going to draw that on the back of your hand. So just draw a little line of, of blender on the back of your hand. I'm going to try and grab another pen. Yeah, okay. That's also not working. Okay. Go back to the original one. Um, yeah. Yes, to find a pen that works. Okay, we'll try that again. So, what you're going to have is O to the A on the back of your hand, and then what you're going to do is next to it, you're going to squeeze out a line of your cretinoin, the same length, exactly the same, right next to it. That was supposed to be two lines, but it hasn't worked out the way I wanted it to. I hope yours does. So, <laughs> you're going to squeeze out your O to the A. You squeeze out your tretinoin O to the A, so your blender and the tretinoin should be next to one another, and then you just take your finger and you start rubbing them together. And what happens is, is very, very quickly, normally within about 20 seconds or so, uh, you'll see that they become uniform in colour. So they're slightly different colours, and when you see them become uniform, that's basically the job is done. There's a little mini chemical reaction that occurs between the two, and they kind of compound together, and they, they piggyback on top of one another to make sure that the hydroquinone in this product, so the blender contains hydroquinone as well, but this hydroquinone is designed to dive way, way deeper into the skin. And it does that on the back of the tretinoin, which is a small enough it's designed to, to streamline through the skin and get right down to where it needs to be into the dermal epidermal junction and then passed into the dermis as well, potentially. So if you've got deeper pigment, even if you've got deeper or superficial pigmentation, you still need number three and number five to work together. But number five won't work unless you've got the tretinoin present as well. So it's designed to be used alongside it. So again, this is a similar thing. You're going to be putting it on and then you may be noticing that it looks like there's loads of product. It's not going in. And you just keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. Just keep doing it. It will go. You just need to give it some time. Just give it time, give it time. And then it will suddenly, again, vanish and disappear. At night time, I would wait at least one hour before you go to bed. This will be the last thing you put on in night time. Don't need to put this on because this stuff is quite greasy. So you'll feel like it's quite greasy anyway. Uh, and you don't need to use your sunscreen at night time. So you'll be putting those on, wait an hour at least, so it's not all rubbing off on your pillow, and then go to bed and see. And in the morning, if you need to use a bit of hydrate, use it at the end of your protocol. In terms of um, getting your results, or at least starting out on products, uh, you know, you, you don't tend to start to see results until at least kind of three, four weeks in, that's important. But importantly, when you're starting out, I don't want you to just start this system straight away. We're gonna start you really slowly, um, so ideally you want to do maybe two or three days a week. So start really slowly, pick two, three days in your diary in the calendar and just do it religiously on those days. And every week you want to add in an extra day. So probably by about five weeks or so, you should be on it every day, ideally. Some people can't handle that. And if you can't handle that, it's going to be these three products here and the Tretinoin. So these four, which are going to be the ones that are holding you back. Even if you can't do those as much as you can, uh, as much as we want you to, at least make sure you're doing your cleanser, your toner, and your sunscreen. This is the most important. We don't want to do all this hard work and then find that we're getting pigmentation or we're getting other problems because we haven't protected the skin. Some of this is designed to get rid of some of the protective layers, so we need to make sure the sunscreen is there to stop any of those uh, untoward complications from occurring in the future. So we need to make sure that's on. So you're going to start slow and you slowly build it up, and then eventually when you're on it every day, you're going to notice your skin's going to go dry, peely, flaky, sore. Uh, that is all normal, that is good. The more inflammation, the more red and horrible it is, the better result you're going to get, unfortunately. This is the way that it works. So we kind of want that a little bit, and I don't want to dampen the response. Um, you may notice some other people online will say the use of steroid initially as well. Um, we, Dr. Baju's principles and the principles of New Dome and Baju Medical say that we should avoid the steroid use um, unless it's absolutely necessary. I don't want you taking those steps without speaking to me first. So also you'll be given the grace period of one week holiday at some point during your time with this box. So if you don't want to use it for a week, that's fine. But uh, the protocol, if you need to stop using it, I want you to just keep using a tiny bit of the clear every every day, a tiny little bit, um, but you don't need to use any. This is going to be the one that causes all the peeling and the flaking as much more than anything else, to be honest. That one and the Exoderm Forte are the ones that are going to be causing the peeling. So if you don't want to do that, you can just stop it a few days before you're going away or something. I want you to stay out of the sun, be sensible, use your sunscreen and be protective. That's really important. But you will be allowed one week, one week only, and then I will hit you. 
Then we've got to see how it's going to progress. So we've got to review you again in six weeks' time and see how you're getting on, see how your skin is doing. And we may change this up a little bit and see how things are going, what, what we need to change, what we need to go up or down on. Uh, but normally, most people, when they come to see me at six weeks, will see some level of improvement. Depending on your skin type, the skin quality, the depth of the pigmentation, or whatever the problem is that we're trying to deal with, it may take, in some people, up to 16 to 18 weeks to see uh, part resolution of the problem. Remember at the point of the point kind of through four months time, we're kind of getting to the end of what hydroquinone can do for you. And in those instances, we have to start weaning you off. If This is also true if you need to suddenly stop something. If something happens, like for instance, you discover that you're pregnant or something like that, I don't want you continuing with these creams. That's not okay. You can't use this if you're trying for pregnancy or if you're currently pregnant or if you're breastfeeding. So if something like that happens and you can't use them, um, then that's fine. Stop there. We'll just have to suffer the consequences as it happens. If there's another reason why you have to stop and it's because of X, Y, or Z, we don't know why. For instance, you, you're not coping with it and you can't do it. I've had very few cases where that's occurred, but if that does happen, I don't just want you stopping it straight away because there's no baby at risk and, I'm, and there's ways that we can, we have to slowly slow this down. Otherwise you can end up getting rebound problems and rebound pigmentation, which can be worse than your original problem you came in with. So if you do need to stop it, speak to me and I will give you the protocol in order to slow this down in the best way and the safest way possible. There's no problem with that. Um, as I said, I haven't had to do that yet, but if I need to, just tell me there's ways that we can do it. But I don't want you to just jump in and just stop completely because I think that's, that's a really bad idea. You're going to get a worse off result. Um, so I hope that will make sense. If there's any questions, any concerns, anything you're worried about, anything that you don't understand, please let us know, and otherwise I will see you at review. Thanks, bye. So there's a few extra little bits that I forgot to mention, so apologies. Um, so firstly, when you're starting out on your products, I wanna make sure that you're using your cleanser and your toner every day at the beginning. Uh, apologies, I wasn't that clear. So use them every single day. The only ones you're gonna introduce three times a week initially, two or three times a week, are these central products here. So add, the, add those in one day a week, a week every every week um, but for the general part your cleanser your toner and your sunscreen should be used every day that's important the second thing is in terms of the days themselves they're not supposed to be consecutive days so ideally spread them out in the week so you've got a little bit of recovery time notice that in some people the tretinoin doesn't work straight away the next morning it can take up to three days in some people for it to actually show effect so be aware of that so don't get giddy and just put on some more the next morning you need to make sure that it, it's done properly Notice that this is a green one and it's uh, the 0.05%. There are three different variables of this. There's a, there's a 0.025 and there's a 0.1. Um, so I would say for most people, we tend to start them on a 0.05, um, but you may be on a 0.1 or a 0.025, depending on what your skin requirements are. So if that's the case, don't worry. Just do exactly what I said. It's exactly the same instructions unless you're told otherwise. Okay, so just bear that in mind. The sunscreen, this is important. So you need to keep reapplying sunscreen. Even the best sunscreens in the world, medical grade sunscreens, probably have a have a maximum kind of lifespan of maybe about four hours or so. Um, at the moment, it's summertime in the UK here, so we are going to be advising that you guys put this on three times a day. It's not sunlight that's the problem; it's daylight. So if you've got daylight outside, your problems are going to be getting worse. So even if you're indoors, outdoors, rain, shine, summer, winter, even if you're a London underground driver, I don't care. You're going to put this on three times a day in the summer and probably about twice a day in the winter. It's just about daylight hours, okay? So it's the UVA rays will come through concrete. They don't care whether you're indoors or outdoors or whether you're wearing a sun hat or what. It doesn't matter. So we need to make sure we're applying this three times a day in the summer and two times a day in the winter. And um, in terms of increasing dosing or reducing dosing, if anything changes, anything you need to know, just contact the clinic and we'll be able to help. I hope that answers any residual questions that may have been lying on. Thanks.